A wrongful death lawsuit has been filed against the Houston police officer charged in a deadly drunk driving crash. James Combs is charged with intoxication manslaughter. Investigators say Combs' blood alcohol level was twice the legal limit when he crashed into 36-year-old Brian Manring, killing him. Channel 2's Joel Eisenbaum has more on Manring's family lawsuit. Brian Manring's family is suing both that off-duty officer and the place where he was allegedly drinking before that accident. It's this strip club in the city of South Houston called the Show Palace. But there may be one issue here in court, that is this place doesn't officially, at least, sell alcohol. He's a 33-year-old police officer, although probably not much longer. Off duty a few weeks ago, investigators say James Combs was more than twice the legal limit when he crossed the center line and crashed his SUV into a Corvette. That violent wreck in Richmond killed 36 year old Brian Manring, the father of a young girl. She really robbed us of a very special person and a little girl of a great father. She was four or five years old, old enough to, to be tremendously grieved. Now the victim's family is suing not only Officer Combs, but the strip club where they claim, quote, James Combs was sold or served alcoholic beverages when it was apparent he presented a clear danger. The problem is the Show Palace, all nude club some 40 miles away from the scene of the accident, doesn't actually serve alcohol, at least not legally. Instead, patrons bring their own alcohol. The question, at least in court, will be whether that absolves this strip club of responsibility in the death of an innocent man. Oh, he was the nicest guy in the world. James Combs is still being paid by the Houston Police Department, but he's not on the job at this point. His lawyer told me this afternoon that he wanted to send his condolences to the Manring family. In South Houston, Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC, Channel 2 News.